Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again from a brand new video. Security first. Discover effective methods to remove malware from your WordPress website. This tutorial equips you with the tools and strategies to keep your digital haven safe and sound. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, getting malware outside of your website for any kind of reason is pretty much annoying. Specifically if there is database or money that's going on in your website, well this is very very scared for the first time when you see it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to delete how to delete all of these malwares. So the first thing is basically how to prevent it in the first place. So normally in case in case you didn't know about uh, our videos, we have made a video about this plugin which is called All in One WP Migration. This plugin is gonna help you to make a schedules. So here, as you can see, you can make backup scheduler that's gonna help you a lot to make backups uh, depending on uh, the time that you have chosen it could be daily hourly weekly monthly uh, and days and hours depending on what you want you can even choose here depending on what you really want uh, which hour which minute which uh, second which day so yeah it's up to you you can even get notifications here, uh, you can get uh, retention settings, you can have for example here connect to one of these uh, operation systems that they have so you can always have the backups in somewhere safe for example you can put it in google drive dropbox storage or onedrive backup or ftp storage or even most of us providers such as file amazon backblaze box mega digital ocean google cloud azure stores amazon glacier p cloud webdave and s3 clients these are only the tools to actually prevent yourself from getting a malware inside of your website but let's say it is too late you can't really stop it anymore it has entered your website already well now as i said uh, you are really in a tough position but n worry not because there is some stuff that you can actually prevent yourself from getting really this malware the first thing is normally uh, deleting the latest thing that you have added that caused this malware to be in your website for example let's say that you have added a cracked uh, plugin so if you don't know you can add plugin in two ways in wordpress the first way which is by uploading the plugin or searching for it in the marketplace if you search for it in the marketplace then you should fear not because this is basically the wordpress marketplace there is no plugin that's going to be added right here without getting through the security and the test of wordpress security and support so don't worry about them these are going to be safe but sometimes guys let's be honest with each other for example elementor is a very very useful plugin but you you get the ultimate version of it only when you pay for the premium version so having the premium version is pretty attracting and seducing sometimes so you go sometime and get the premium version for free as crack and what it will do is it will cause you a lot of problems one of these main problems is it could be a malware that's going to be entering to your website so normally uh, what you should do is prevent yourself from actually uploading plugins right through here so this is the first thing if you have installed it well it might be not too late you can still deactivate it and remove it by clicking on deactivate and then delete but sometimes it could be still too late for example you start the plugins you removed it but the malware has actually gone everywhere in your site has installed in your media pages posts and you can't really stop it anymore so what i would really highly recommend you to do is to take a backup and then search for this plugin that is called reset so let's go here 
and basically this plugin what it will do is to reset your WordPress site to zero so it will remove literally everything from your website it doesn't matter if it has malware or not it will be permanently removed it is a hundred percent safe and it will remove everything from your website the only cause or the like the inconvenience things of it is you get to lose all of your database which is not the thing that you want there is also the malware remover so we can simply here go ahead as you can see uh, word defense security uh, firewall and uh, malware scan and login security you can get it it has basically formerly an active installation so it is a very very useful tool to actually defend yourself from any uh, hijack or uh, DDoS or something like that. So this is basically a uh, WordPress firewall. So web application firewall identifies and blocks malicious traffic, but and maintained by our large team focused hundred percent on WordPress security. For the premium features, you'll get a real-time firewall rule and malware signature updates via the threat defense feed. Uh, real-time uh, IP blockless blocks all requests from the most malicious IP and protecting your site while reducing load protects your site at the endpoints enabling deep integration with wordpress unlike load alternative does not break encryption cannot be bypassed and cannot leak data integrated malware scan blocks requests that include malicious code or content and protecting from brute force attacks by limiting login attempts here are some security scanner uh, features. Here are the login security features and word defense central features and the security tools that this plugin has. So it is very important to have one of these plugins that are in here. It could be whatever you think of, whatever plugin you want or think that it's good, as long as it has uh, a good rating and a huge amount of active installations. For example, this one, this one, these ones so all of them has more than 100k download so i really don't care about which plugin you would go for as long as you keep it inside of your website and as long as you make your website safe you can go for each one of them uh, or any one of them or every single one of them so you can just install them all and start using them uh, to keep your website safe so this is how you can install it simply just click on install now and next thing to do is to simply uh activate it as you can see right through here so now as you can see guys we just have to activate it so let's just wait a little bit and here simply just go to install plugins and get your word defense license in case you would like to have the premium version so now i would just install an existing license depending on what you want so yeah it's up to you if you want to get the premium version but yeah depending on if you want to pay or not it's up to you and yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial